Okay, good morning. Can we get started? Is it 11 o'clock? Or close to? Okay, so I'll get started because I want to I be grateful of your time. I know you guys got other sessions and it's lunch after this. And you're probably going to be hot in this room anyway. There's so many of us. So my name is Mike Pickles, as you can see on the board. I'm an educator of 25 years, author of three books, uh, and now public speaker. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my story before we jump into session, just to give you guys a little context about who I am and why I do what I do. So, yeah, or yeah, just pass them. Wow, please, thank you. Just zip them through. So, um, before I begin, though, I just want to say that this morning I was, because uh, I'm from Peace River. Anybody been to Peace River? Oh, you have? Yeah, it's good. Okay. So, Peace River, about a nine-hour drive from here. So, I drove last night to a buddy of mine's in uh, Edmonton, so that's about five hours. Stayed the night and then drove here this morning. And I couldn't believe when I got here, I mean, your mountains, that... Peace River, we had hills. You guys had mountains. So I'm sitting here looking at this mountain. It's like, wow, this thing's been here like for thousands of the beginning of time. And that's what I want to talk about today, the beginning of time. To me, time is our most precious commodity. We only have so many days, so many weeks, so many months, so many years. And I'm not here to be morbid or sad. I'm here to sort of uplift you to say, let's make good use of our time. So today, by the, by the time I'm finished, and a good crowd here today, by the time I'm finished, I hope you guys go home with some good takeaways. Something you can start like as soon as you leave that door. You say, oh my God, uh, I, I need to do this. I need to clean up my act. I need to do things a little bit different for whatever reason. I don't know your personal life, but we, we can all clean up our life a little bit better than we are. So my thing today is my takeaway for you or your takeaway, I hope, is that when you go, that you can change your life for the better. And this is what this is, wellness and well-being. Are we all educators here, or most of us? Okay, most of us? Yeah. And educators, like nurses, you know, the, the medicine, the field of medicine, sometimes we give, 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 and we forget to have time for ourselves. We forget to check in. Okay, we burn out. First three to five years, teachers what? They burn out, but they leave the profession. They're gone. Three to five years, we're gone. That's so sad. My degree took me four, and in three years, you can be gone. It's not right, and there's all kinds of reasons why. And teaching is not the only profession, but we really do have a hard one. Besides parenting, it's the hardest job in the world, in my opinion. So what am I talking about? Why am I here? Um, I teach, but also, just a couple of years ago, I decided to do some consulting, talk about wellness and well-being. Not because it's the thing today, you know, mental wellness seems to be the thing today, and I'm thankful that it is, but because it's true and is needed. We, it, we shouldn't be embarrassed to say, I'm not doing well. I need time out. I need to check out. I need to take care of myself. And I've experienced it personally. And hope, well, not hopefully, but hopefully you guys get something out of this. That, that's what I hope is when you leave. You say, man, I really got something from that lesson or from that session. But also for me, it's going to be a little bit emotional, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. Because my dad passed away six weeks ago. So what I'm talking about um, is real. So I started a consulting business because... People were going through life, myself included, without stopping, without checking in, without being genuine, without being real. So I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. So I teach, but on the side, on weekends and whatnot, <clears throat> my apologies if I'm breaking, I'll, I'll, I'll come to in a second. Um, I said, I, I gotta do something to help people outside, like 